Welcome everyone, today I present you the turtle, an absolute unit of a solo base that'll help you survive a long harsh wipe. Let's take a look here, we got our airlock, two large depot boxes so you can get back out there quick, two great shotgun traps to help you not die and get door camped. Behind here we have our three small furnaces that doubles as our jump up. We got another shotgun trap here to prevent people from going deep. Come on through here. Our shop to sell all our extra revolvers and all the other goodies we get. Now if you come in here we have our workbench. Two large boxes and two small boxes for all the mats and things you'll need to craft. Pick this up and we got our nice cozy bedroom right here so you can get back to the fight as fast as possible. And then here's where it gets good. Behind these two separated doors, we have two offset bunkers. That's why we have this window frame here so that way they can't be splashed. So I'll zoom through here. Pop these open. And then once you place them, you can get rid of them. Zoom on back inside and boom. Now they're both opened up. Drop down here, pop this off. We got four large boxes, an undrainable shotgun trap. These make it super tough for raiders, even once they blow down here, to actually get anything. And there's a huge risk that if one of them comes down here with the rockets or any of the boom, it could be stuck down there. And then we'll come over here to the TC room. Here we got five large boxes, four more undrainable shotgun traps, TC. So once they pummel through or blow through the offset bunkers, it'll still be super tough to get all the loot down here because of these shotgun traps. So now let's get into the build. To get your build started, first you'll want to claim your build spot by just building a simple one by one. Throw down your TC, and now you own this build spot, so you can go out and get some more resources. And once you do that, the first thing you should do is add a nice little chute. This way you'll have two doors, it'll be much harder to get deeped on, it'll be a lot safer. Use a furnace as your jump up, slap a door down there, and you can play out of this for a little bit, but once you get some more resources, the first thing you should do is just make a mirror of the other side. So a nice one by one. We use another large or another small furnace. If we can get this wall to place, there we go. Throw another door down. And then from here you'll want to quickly enclose this space. should look like this. Then from here we can start adding some front honeycomb and our entrance. So real simple, just do that. Oops. And we'll place our two windows. We'll have our double door. Then here we'll want to place two half walls. Or three I guess. And this is a full wall right here. We'll once again use a furnace as our jump up. We can hop up here. And right here we'll want to put a single door. And that way we can, once we get the resources later, we can throw a vending machine in there to sell all our stuff. So here you have it pretty complete. You can use uh, wooden window bars if you have nothing else to put here slap your door down all right once you have the main portion of the base done you can start working on the bunker and adding honeycomb so we'll come here add some honeycomb nothing special that you have to worry about when you're doing uh, either of the two sides and 
And then once we get to the bunker portion, there's just a few steps that you should follow. So we can place this top roof, but don't place this middle one yet. And we'll just place our two walls and we'll place two roof tiles right here. And then from here, we'll just build out the bunker. So we'll go out five triangles to the left. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you'll delete everything and just come back with squares. And then delete all these. And we're gonna do the same exact thing, just go out five. And this time we're gonna delete everything but this last square that we placed. And just come on back with squares. You're gonna do two half walls full wall or roof I like to come in here oh sorry first we have to place these then you can come in here and place this and before you close it up I would come in here and just double check that the bunker works so you see how it goes down a little bit it shifts positions you want to make sure it's in the down the more downward position so like that right there oh. Sorry, we have to put these first. And then now we should be able to do it. There you go, 7%. Do the same thing here. 8%, that's good. And then we can come out here and test it. So we put one roof there, one roof here, and the bunker should be open, boom. So to finish this off, you can delete all these. You don't need any of this. And then you just close all this in. Oh, let's get a... And then here you can just add a roof. Two walls. And there you go. You have your honeycomb and your bunker done. So whenever you want to, you just come in here, close it up, and you can log off for the night and feel safe about all your loot. So now that we have the building out of the way, we'll get on to upgrading. So there's only really a, key, a few key things that we should upgrade. First will be this bunker right here. So as soon as you can, you wanna upgrade all of this to armor including these two walls out here. And then you can just upgrade this to metal because if they blow this, they still can't get in here. We'll want to make these metal too. And then you come up here and the next most important part will be upgrading the next bunker, obviously. So we'll upgrade this to armored. All that. And then these ones, depending on your resources, you can just leave metal. But one of the most important parts about this base if I can ever get up there <clears throat> is uh, this window frame. So you wanna put this window frame here and upgrade it to armor as soon as possible. So that way they can't splash both the bunkers at the same time. And it's super easy to get around even with this. If you just place a couple large boxes here. And then I would put a bed and make this a, a bedroom like I showed in the beginning. But if you don't have a bed or any of those BPs yet, you can just place another large box here. And it makes it super easy to get in and out of um, each side of the base. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Leave a like and comment below what you guys think. Uh, we try to step up the cinematics a little bit. Uh, still learning. So if you guys have any tips or any comments, just let me know down below. Thanks.